What's up guys, my name is Jody Cook 5 and welcome back to another player review on the channel today. Today we have the brand new Team of the Week card, Mohamed Kudos. Like always, we're going to run you through these stats, show you some clips and then talk about him afterwards. As we said, this is the brand new Team of the Week card that is available as of the moment. In terms of the stats, 93 pace, 79 shooting, 76 passing. He displays 89 dribbling and 80 physical. He's got a medium low work rate with a 4 star, 3 star. So a decent card off the bat from what we can see. The only thing I would really point out is the weak foot and the strange kind of work rates but you can just see the high levels of pace he's got good dribbling also and a decent amount of physical I'd say it's a very versatile card. You can play him in the right mid, the cam and the right winger position. I stuck him in the cam role with a sniper chemistry style to be able to upgrade his shooting and his physical stats. In terms of what we can just see in depth, there's not really big points in terms of talking about where he's got such, such high stats. I feel like it's very kind of basic across the ball with some kind of standing out more than others. The notable facts would be his pace, his agility and balance being 90 and 97. He's also got 91 dribbling there, 88 ball control. It's okay on the physical sides of things, but not the best either and unfortunately his shooting size don't look awfully that good in all honesty. With that being said, obviously there's some low points about this card, but it is a very cheap card to be able to purchase on the market. You're looking at about 40 odd thousand coins, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be obtaining them through packs, so I feel like as time and where he's going to be out for longer, he will decrease in value then. But in all honesty, for what you're getting for the value, it's not too bad. There's still a lot to talk about this card, there's still some good things to talk about this card though, that is for sure, it's not all doom and gloom. In terms of his play styles, he displays three. He, one of them being the technical, he's also got the flair and he's also got the first touch. All of them going in the ball control categories this time round. There's some good attributes to be able to have to be able to be the card where he is playing. I feel like being able to have the first touch is always good. Having a little bit of flair about him and the position that he needs to be is always nice. And the passing attributes to always be a good point of his game. But yeah, no, it's nice to see that. It would have been nice to have a, maybe a play style plus with his having a high pace. Maybe we could have a quick step. Not a kind of interesting to see that not being introduced but to be honest as I say this is a very cheap card to be able to purchase on the market with that being said we're going to show you these clips and then we're going to talk about him in depth straight afterwards
after show news clips then we're going to talk about a few things I did and didn't like about this particular card. The pros I found with his pace, his agility, his balance and his dribbling. The pace was a notable factor about his game. He didn't display any play styles to be able to conjure to a really good decent pace. Obviously if you want to put a chemistry style on to even upgrade it even more he will be even faster but he's a very fast card. Once he gets going it's very hard to stop him and it's definitely a very big part of his game to be needing good on the pitch. His agility and balance are probably one of the best parts of his game. Displaying the 90-97 stat is a very good thing for something in where the position this card needs to be. He needs to be able to get past the defenders really easily, he needs to be able to weave and not be in off balance at the same times and it's always been able to have that agility to be able to go past players and everything else. His dribbling was really good, the ball stuck to his feet really well and that kind of went into his play styles also. Having the first touch play style to be able to receive the ball on a heavy, t on a heavy pass and just being able to control it really well, not having such a heavy touch every time you're running with the ball. I felt like he was really able to cope that well and it went with his pace also. I feel like when you're running at pace you need to control the ball at high speeds it can be hard sometimes but I felt like he dealt that really easily his cons are his weak foot his stamina his shooting his passing and I have to note his work rate also his weak foot isn't the best displaying a freestyle weak foot you're gonna always have to have it on the preferred foot it's something that really bugs me when it has a freestyle weak foot to be honest it's something that's always could be a big improvement in game and it feels like it gives you that little bit of a downer when trying to attack on goal his stamina isn't the best I know he displays a high pace level which is understandable he's gonna be running about for a lot of the game and needs to be in areas where it's very important so he's going to have to endure high moments and decent pace but unfortunately it just doesn't really cop in terms of where I want him to be in terms of when you're getting about 50-60 minutes into the game it feels like he's kind of slowly on the decline and you would need to make a substitution at that time his shooting is good. I don't feel like it's a point where you could really slate it, but I feel like there was factors where he just missed chances when he didn't need to. He has a lot of chances on goal because of the times that we're able to get, get in pace and he's got good, decent dribbling with it. But unfortunately, just really not clinical enough to be able to be in front of goal and get you that goal that you really need in game. His passing stats aren't the best. Long, short, long and short, he just doesn't really display a high level of passing. Unfortunately, the position that you need to be in in terms of the right winger or if you're playing in the cam role, you really want someone that's going to control the ball by being able to pass it from side to side long or short so it's definitely a factor in his game that I would like improved that is for sure but as I said it's 40 odd thousand coins he's going to get cheaper so it might be someone to try out it's definitely an improvement on his actual gold base card I thought that was fun to use at the start of the game there is good points about this card but I feel like there's a lot of bad factors also that make it not the best that is for sure with that being said I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode please like and subscribe for more content just like this one and don't forget to hit the notification button so you never miss a video cheers Thank <laughs> you.